You know, I am not much of a, I don't really eat the salad. It's not my thing. But anyway, do you want to know something super personal, actually? I should have told you this before we started. Do you? Yes. You know she, what I, yes. my mom uh, told me, like, oh, once you get old, things change, your body, your order, blah, blah, blah. Bruh. Like, I fucking. Damn. <laughs> anyway, no. Sorry, bro. You know what? What that happens? Um, like when I go camping, uh-huh. we don't take showers, and it's right. But bro, no. I used to be able to like go on days without bathing when I was younger, and I didn't stink. I'm not saying like. You know, I did a lot of actually physical work today. And I was going to say, that's why I look like shit. But who knows, maybe everybody that sees our podcast, every, our show every Saturday is like, you look like shit every Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everybody has a preference. <laughs> I might be the shit to some people. What was that phrase? Um, one man's tra- What? One man's trash is another man's treasure? Treasure. I hate yeah. that shit, bro. Don't call me trash just because I'm with this other person and now I'm this person's treasure. But I, I wasn't that person's trash. That person was trash to me, so I dumped him. That's why I'm with this person that now realizes I am treasure. <laughs> I don't like to use that expression with relationships. Because most rela- relationship expressions are dumb and towards men. Yeah, because men are dumb. Well, I don't want to start with feminist shit, but um, because as usually <laughs> men are dumb. I do, well, if somebody starts listening to the podcast, no. then they'll be like, hey, I like those women talking about women and how men, and then they listen to the rest of the shit, and I'm super machista, like, you women need to learn how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> you guys need to have some confidence, man. <laughs> You need to say your standards. Is that you? I hear like a knock. Someone knocking? Yeehaw! No. What do I? I was doing this. Oh, that's weird that I heard it. Oh, that's a cute picture. Anyway, let's start the show. <laughs> <laughs> Testing, testing, one, two, one, two, test, test, one, two, one, two, que on the way, we are the Bodega Cats, and I believe we're still lit, way, I don't like that, lit, I don't like that, we only added it so Travis Scott wouldn't get pissed, way, lit, it's lit, we say it's lit, we added way, lit way, it's lit way, lit way, lit way, lit way, because when I do, hashtag it's lit way, that's what it sounds like. Hashtag is lit way. So maybe that's our new thing. Th- our new thing. <laughs> our new thing will be. Remember I told you when I can't pronounce things, I'm just going to do it super Mexican ting. now. Our new thing is going to be. Um, it's lit way. Lit way. It's lit way. Lit way. Life is lit way. Way lit. It's way lit. <laughs> that's what we. Oh. That's fucking brilliant, bro. That's fucking brilliant. Why? Thank you. What else can I give you? What I can give you? Round Dude. one. Dude. Fight! Uh, they call me Chung Lee. No, I'm just kidding. Chung Lee. Oh, anyway, so... That's soda. I believe we introduced the show. Larissa has the burpees because she had some soda. And... I am 54 Peaches. I'm Larizzi. And we are drinking soda, so we apologize for the burpees that are coming up in a few minutes. La, la, la. Yeah, so what are we talking about today, bro? There's so um, many things that happen. Like, see what's on the gay agenda. I was so... <laughs> <laughs> Should we talk about that? <laughs> I just Oh, thought. my God. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. You know, I'm not going to be a super hater. But it really bugs the shit out of me how only in is I mean, how do I say it? only in June 
everybody has to like you're gonna have like fucking rainbow toothpaste you're gonna have rainbow fucking calzones you're gonna have rainbow like uh fucking pepto-bismol like bro cool it and you know these companies most of these companies don't support us and some of them go out of their way to not support us and hurt us by by um helping organizations that are against us right and for those of you that haven't gotten it, we're talking about LGBTQ. It is June. Happy Pride Month, Larizzi. Pride. I wish I could put a rainbow here. Hey, maybe I can. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> no, where's the one with the, this one? I wish I could send it to you. Ooh. We know what makes a rainbow. Skittles? The reflection oh. of that, <laughs> that water and atmosphere hitting the earth. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> For real, Larissa? <laughs> it's too early in the pot. <laughs> we only are five minutes in. I was in. trying to be smarty <laughs> Oh, oh uh, you are educated as F. A. Oh, A. 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 F. Um, oh my god. What happened? Oh I my think god! I might have been under the influence. Why do you say that? Because I'm looking at what I wrote this week to talk about on the podcast. Oh fuck! Tell us! Tell us! Tell us! I don't. Oh no! It's I, not appropriate. Um, it's not appropriate. No, for it's, the podcast. it doesn't make sense. I think the quiet, please quiet place movie. I was so good because the dad was like the protector. And he died for his kids, and he had the baby, and the girl knew that he did that for her, and even the son was like, yeah, yeah. yeah." Let me translate that for you guys. That's Lorisi speaking. Um, (laughs) So basically, Lorisi really enjoyed the movie The Quiet Place because she enjoys the fact that the father protects the family. The wife did commit the mistake of not letting or pushing him so he can pull out, so they created a baby during a... Where's the pandemic situation in which it was really the worst time to have a baby? And she loved how the son even said, yeah, dad, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Is there more? Yes. <laughs> okay. The quiet place is something that we should cherish like it's quiet. Are you talking about the movie or being quiet? <laughs> and like life should be silent sometimes. We have so much static and noise. The Quiet Place was like a journey with your mind. Whoa, bro. Whoa. (laughs) I think... There's more. Wait, wait, wait. Let me translate that. I think subconsciously you're sick and tired of me. And you're like, I cherish quietness. (laughs) Like quiet. Quietness? Is that a word? Yeah, quietness. Quiet is good. Quiet, quiet. I'm like, maybe you're trying to say something, bro. Go ahead, continue. A journey. <laughs> what the shit? Here. I rewind it. Go ahead again. Whoa. <laughs> the noise, like the uh, oh, it, like a journey with your mind, and not so much words. Maybe, maybe we'll sign the deaf community deal with all the time being silent. Is that a podcast to convert to people? Can leave here at like the quiet place reminds us of life without the thrills, the iPads, the Netflix. You were just talking about how you want a new streaming service. <laughs> the iPhones <laughs> thought that you have to talk to each other. The family, they were playing Monopoly. Who plays Monopoly anymore? I just played Monopoly <laughs> two weeks ago. I want to. To I people, want to. I want to all kittens text. Lit. Oh, I think I was saying Isle lit. Kittens. It's lit. <laughs> Isle Kittens. <laughs> Isle Kittens text make a comment on the YouTube or Spotify or SoundCloud. Make a comment on what you would do if you didn't have the modern conveniences of life. Oh, shit. You got a little deep there. That's what she said. That's what she said. That was like mouth vomit. Wait. <laughs> you literally had a visionary stream of consciousness. Something. While intoxicated. I don't know what this what means. Frickin' G had a baby while an alien trying to get at ya. What the fuck, Emily? Be a 
gag for show. Oh my god, the baby with pain, no meds. What the fuck? Okay, so translation is what I kind of just said. What the fuck is wrong with you, Emily Blunt? Like, he should have pulled out. Actually, it's both of their fault. But Larissa and her visionary stream of consciousness and while intoxicated is only blaming the woman. Like I said, you guys, girls, women, 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 if uh, you thought this was a feminist podcast, it is not. Larissa says, you dumb bitch, why didn't you pull the dick out? <laughs> so that you would not get pregnant with your baby, you stupid bitch. She said something about they should gag you. I'm not quite sure what that means. Um, oh. Psh. Because she wants quiet. 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 What? 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 It's like a. It's not gonna rain. Stop the stop, shit. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> anyway, is there more Lord uh, That's it. <laughs> oh my lord. What the? F- so the Chronicles. W T F Emily bag for show. Oh my god. The baby <laughs> Emily with pain, no meds. Show. <laughs> she had the baby with no meds, bro. Okay, yeah. She kind of, you kind of like, she kind of was a G of a woman. I agree with you. He should have pulled out, bro. We're in the middle of a fucking, uh, it's what do you call it, monster, that song, monster, monster, whatever. We had this that song in the earphones, and they were all doing sexy time in the basement. Uh, they were just dancing. But after dancing, it was sexy time. How do you know? I don't know. <laughs> See, you breeders are the ones in our in breeders. the bed. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> Let's not do that. Let's not do that. I'm not uh, a breeder. I've never bred. I didn't say that. I never had a baby come out of my vagina. <laughs> <laughs> That's just, this is true. Okay. I'll take you off the list. I could give my eggs. Do you, no, they're hey, too old. in two seconds, I'm about to promote my gay agenda. Oh, shit. And you're going to be converted. And if there's children around, oh, lordy, they're mine now. And they're little, gay little children now. Conversion. I touched them with my gay hand, and they're now gay. Oh, you children, you better hide your kids, because it's June. It is thunder. Damn. Mama. Hey, have I told you that success is like being pregnant? Say no. No. <laughs> oh, I did tell you on Saturday, but do you remember? <laughs> success is like being pregnant. Everybody says congratulations, but nobody really knows how many times you got fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you told me. Oh! Uh. Well, maybe you didn't. You talk a lot. I do. <laughs> she just said you want me to be quiet, but I will not. The Guess quiet what? place. Guess what, bitch? Guess what, she girl? Quiet. Why do you always eat those in the middle of the podcast when the most important thing is the sound? <laughs> Bless you. Like a you got all tomatoey for one second there. Tomato? <laughs> like in the middle of your face all of a sudden. Tomato? Tomatoey. Who's that me? Like when a whitey gets red. <laughs> like Devin. Oh, you got a little tomatoey from his white DB. side. <laughs> <laughs> Shut nah, it down, bro. bitch. bro, bro. What you just did? <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's like a lie detector test or something. For with <sighs> so when you're lying, you're like you're you're speaking loudly. And you're like, oh my god. So when <clears throat> I laugh, I'm lying. <laughs> but uh, now for real though, bro. No, don't. Because then you're a breeder. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. That's like you telling me not to say something, and but then I say it. Like last podcast? Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. That's why we don't do lives. <laughs> we should do lives. No, you always say that. You always say that, 
and you say our names and you say where you work. No. Lorisia is like, let's do a live. Then she gives her social security app. I did not. <laughs> lies, lies. This is a show. Lies. This is our character. Lies. <laughs> I think you are drunk. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. not. Oh, not. Huh. no, I'm not. Huh. Unless I can get drunk on Michelob Ultra. Nah, that beer's for pussies. Oh! Now I'm a pussy. No, no, no. That's not the beer of your choice, right? Is that but I'm drinking it, so therefore I'm a puss. Well, everybody has pussy once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Okie dokie. That's not what I wanted. I'm on fire today. Um, Me too. I just had a jalapeno. Don't eat another one. <laughs> Wait. No, I don't know why I do that. I'm just like, oh, let me take this jelly bean that's going to burn my throat off. I wonder what would happen if you put that jelly bean up your butt. Ah! <laughs> no, my butt's really sensitive. All people's. I just heard on the Exit news. Exit only, babe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, bro, I'm all dirty everywhere. When my partner said, says, oh. do you want it in the butt? And I say, exit, <laughs> exit only. What did you say? <clears throat> exit like, only. You're like those uh, T-Mobile commercials. So all he heard was like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yes. He's <laughs> like, oh yeah. Up in the butt. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> in the butt. Now, no, no, my anus is really sensitive. Well, it's well, like. There's veins and stuff, and it's it's like the same thing that's your like lips, the tongue. Your lips are made of. Yeah, but the, but when you eat spicy stuff, your lips. But but the lips. When you eat the spicy stuff, when you eat the spicy stuff, it makes you have a lip. <laughs> Is that bad? <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> A lisp, a lisp is not. You know, if you talk like that, we probably would get famous, like Mike Tyson. <laughs> not this, the lisp, the whole know. thing. I can't do it, Mike Tyson. He has a new commercial with Mike's Lemonade, and then this guy comes in to hit on two girls that are drinking it, and then he's all, he grabs the Mike's Lemonade, and the girls are like, "That's Mike's." He's like, "No, that's Mike's." <laughs> No, that's Mike's. And Mike comes out. Hey, are you drinking? Are you, are you do the voice. Are you drinking my last lemonade? Are you drinking my last lemonade? No, Mike Tyson. Oh, are you drinking my last lemonade? <laughs> so it's like Cartman from. <laughs> I can do Cartman. That's about it. But anyway, he goes, are you drinking uh, my, my lemonade? My Mike's lemonade? Or something like that? And the guy runs, scared. And then he does it with his little voice. I was just going to tell him that his, there's more inside. Oh, and then they keep the camera on him. No, oh. boy, he's fat. Like he's, he's fat, fat. Too, but he's so Does he funny, have bro. A lisp? Yeah, we're not. The, we're not making fun. We're not talking shit. Mike Tyson has a lisp. I thought his voice was just really high. And he has a high, high pitch. High pitch. High pitch. High pitch. We're not. <laughs> we're just happy. We're just. We're just happy. We're high in life. Remember when we... We don't need... Remember when we used to pot, pot sad during COVID through oh, Zoom? Turn remember the around. day. We were like, Larissa, how are you? Oh, I missed your face. <laughs> and because we weren't ratchets like most of you, we were good. We didn't see each other. It's true. A long ass time. Oh, gosh. What? 300 and... More, right? We days? went into hiding, hiding on March 15 of 2020. Oh, which reminds me. Where's the... God damn it. What's... I'm not... I'm like all over the place today. I was watching something on YouTube and when it was over, our podcast came on. So I was like, cool, that's never happened to me. And it was one of the old ones. Have I told you the story? Mm-mm. Okay, I feel I like I have a deja vu. So um, I, I I kept watching it because it was one of the first ones. I think it was episode 6 or 16 or something like that. But we weren't on Zoom yet. We were in, in person. So we go, we start the podcast and I go, Larisi, again, we're on podcast 78 or something. And this was podcast 6. I go, Larisi, I figured it out. In 2020, 
I'm becoming a whore. And you're like, what? I'm like, yeah, bro. I'm going to be a whore, like a hardcore whore in 2020. I'm just going to, you know, date, sleep around and shit. And COVID, bro. COVID saved my vagina. (laughs) You know? I think God was like, I've always told you this. God's like, bro, you've pushed it all those years. I haven't given you no nothing, not even chlamydia. So you keep that fucking pussy tight. Be stingy with it. Because I'm not going to save you again, bro. So I was True. like, all right, I won't. But then back in 2019, I was like, bro, let's do things different. Let's start a podcast. Let's fucking do this. I'm going to sleep around. And then that shit happened, bro. So, so it was like a rainbow. It was a rainbow, bro. Catch. Well, Like a the, slinky. Well, in the Bible. Oh, lordy. <laughs> I forgot to bring my gay agenda, but I was going to promote it today because it is Pride Month. <laughs> in the Bible. In the Bible, in the butt. In the Bible, in the butt. In the Bible, in the Bible, in the butt. Is that not good? That choked, okay? choked me. Oh. That choked me. I had to sit back down. Yeah. Ew, that's a perv look. <laughs> I'm glad most people just listen. <laughs> just... just Trust me, just listen. Just listen. <laughs> <laughs> so today I was out in the streets. Uh oh. She out on the streets. I have a lot of anxiety. I've I've seen now that if I know I'm gonna leave the house, I'll get diarrhea before ten AM. What? <laughs> <laughs> I said <clears throat> I've noticed that my anxiety, the way my anxiety oh. works. Before I go out, the days that I know I have to go out to work, I get diarrhea right about 10 a.m. I, I take my regular morning shit, and it's fine. And then it's getting closer to leave, closer to leave. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, I got to go again. And it's more liquid than, like, it's fine at the beginning, but it's a lo- not like 100% diarrhea. I don't want to describe, like, exactly my shit to you guys, but it's not all right. And then... Doesn't sound good. I hear, I'm hearing things, bro. Yeah, no, but so what I think I should do, I think I should start conditioning my brain to that. So I'm going to start taking a shower early in the morning when I wake up. Ooh, another thunder. We should watch a scary movie. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> we the quiet place. But before we go on with the quiet place, a lot of promotion for you, John Krasinski and Emily Blunt. Send us some blunts this way. Just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Anyway, I don't want to talk about my shit. That shit is boring. (laughs) We don't want to talk about uh, faking it, but... We don't? I do want to say my neighbor, just to keep track of this. Uh Have I talked about the intensify where I thought one of them threw the other one down the stairs? And then, all of a sudden, someone related to one of them showed up. And then I didn't hear anything. And I was sure they were cleaning up the body, bro. Then eventually I saw her, so I knew she wasn't dead. But then I thought, what if the other one died? And I'm thinking this whole time that the other one was the meanie. Anyway, they're both alive, you guys. They're well. They're doing all right. They continue to fight. Right about like 5 in the morning is when they like to stomp on the ground and uh, shut doors and run down the stairs and act like they're dying. They fight a lot. But hey, you guys, you guys, they come home. Because I think they moved in together last week. They come home. And they love each other right about like until 11 p.m. <laughs> the fight starts. Then they go to sleep. Then they start the fight around 6. Now, nah, it's not every day. It was only Monday. I wrote it down. It was on Monday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, then on Monday again. So not every day, you know. But anyway, what was I going to say about that shit that <laughs> it was so funny that something happened about? Oh, so when I figured out, I think I was like, I think homegirl moved in with her. And I'm like... Ah, oh, it's raining. So, um, I smelled cooking. I've never smelled cooking. I never smell anything other than like ugh, nastiness coming out of there. Not, I don't want to say it like that. Let me let me correct it. My correct previous it. neighbor, my previous neighbor, my neighbor? previous neighbor, bro. It's my my Spanish, so don't fucking make fun. Neighbor. My previous neighbor. We don't. I don't pronounce V, bro. Okay. Like, I'm like, hey, Victor. But you just... Victor, ven para acá. Because I don't... It's Victor, vente. 
bueno, everything's ba ba for me because I'm I was raised in Chihuahua. Vaca. So vaca. Vaca. Yeah. Not vodka. But I Sorry. came here I know, I know. and I have to learn how to pronounce it properly because I don't. Because otherwise, let me finish. I, I have to. I, I have to learn how to pronounce it properly when I'm here because you, you, white people will laugh at you. People make fun of you. But anyway, <laughs> so I, I was trying to say, I told you there's different levels of hate, bro. You're way here. I'm not calling you a super hater here. What my yeah, my nariz de tortillera? See, yeah, but, why are you fucking with me today? You have a sheen about you. I have a nariz de tortillera, you bro. A glow? Get out of here. You're glowing. Now you're trying to butter up the are bread. Are you pregnant? <laughs> Let me finish my story. What was I saying? Um, hey, you say I never talk. But you're not talking. You're just talking shit to me. You're making fun of my the way I, I talk English. Fun. Then you're telling me I'm sweaty in my mouth. I was just mocking you. There's Why you gotta yell? <laughs> Sorry. I was just mocking you. Fuck, bro. Mocking you. <laughs> mocking you. Anyway, let me finish my funny, bro. This is so Tell fucking funny. No, nah, no, nah, it's ruined. It's not a joke anymore. Sorry, uh, you guys. I try to give you guys a show, but anyway, <laughs> just to just fucking say it. Um, just say I it. smell fucking. Don't fucking tell me anything, bro. Let me finish my goddamn story. So you know what? I'm not gonna say it anymore. You say something while I look think about this next story. Uh, oh, she's all oh, man. Talk, bro. Say something. No, I'm shy. Nah, you don't like keep it up. Let's see. Do it. I'm gonna pull a Joe button. Go. Well, one day at band camp. No. I don't have anything. You're the you're you're the talent. Nah, shut up, bro. You know you're you're the talent. I set up. But hold on, I have a couple things I do want to say. Go ahead. That was like I shot my shot. Shot shoot. What is that saying? I who. Shoot my shot. Shot. At who? At you. Did you ever watch that documentary I told you, I Love You, Now Die? No. That show's weird, bro. It's I about... did watch I Love You, Man. I love that movie. Slap it a bite. Slap it a bite. Hey. I love that shit. Well, it's a really weird documentary. Uh, I recommend it. It's about I that girl that... Down. um. I, uh, I, I Love You, Now Die. It's about that girl... That was charged with the death, pushing her boyfriend to kill himself through text. Do you remember that story? I think it was like back in 2016. But you don't remember back in 2016? Because she wasn't there, bro. She was in a different city. And she went to jail. Excuse me. It's not a spoiler. Like, this is true, true story. But anyway, that shit is interesting. I do recommend it. Uh, we're watching the playoffs, Lorisi and I. So Don't tell us the score. Yeah. <laughs> Next week, don't tell us the score for tonight. <laughs> oh, so, so I'm not gonna wish nothing bad against LeBron. You know, because I spoiled it for your family. What do you mean? Last week, because I was like, oh, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah, and he's like, don't tell me, and I said, <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? He's like, thanks. Ah, shit. It's, it's like I record it and watch it. I'm like, oh. Sorry. Oh, yeah, because he has a kid. So when he has his kid, he doesn't watch, you know. Because you know how it is. You really want to pay attention and shit. You turn around, you miss the super amazing shot. So he records it. So he does. He's being weird. <laughs> my cat's being weird, bro. Speaking of my cat, um, oh, have I, I just... told you about the orders? The what? I just had a weird moment. Like you saw something from the corner of your eye? No. Oh, because I was going to tell you, I, I see shit all the time here. You <laughs> really do have a glow about that. Shut up, bro. Don't butter on my bread. Did you hear about the bonnets and pajamas and shit? The argument? Bonnets? Like people... Oh, yeah. The bonnet thing? Women wear like... Because Monique was like, you need to be presentable. But at the airport? But bro, black women... Sometimes they need those bonnets, right? For like to, because yeah, their so hair is not to, ready. Yeah, because if you, like, if you're, it's it's kind of like the do rags, like. Like the do rags help the guys set the style, right? Especially yeah. when you got like waves and stuff like that, and braids. Because when I used to get my hair braided, the girl that did my hair used to work with a lot of uh, African American hair. Look at him! Look at him! 
My cat is like going after Lorisi's pizza. <laughs> really? He's smelling. Well, of course he smells your butt. Look, look. Oh. He, he knows we're talking about him. Never mind. It's okay. He's very sensitive, just like me, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> God. Anyway, I don't care about the bonnets. Fucking wear whatever the fuck you want. Who gives a shit? I will say though. What? Say something. Something. Don't. I hope she's not listening. I did have a baby. We're almost done. Okay, hold on. Uh, it was. <laughs> You're like. I dated someone that she had really nice hair when I met her, like really beautiful hair, and I'm like, ah, oh, beautiful. And I swear to God, as soon as we got in a relationship, all she had was a bun all the time. She wore a bun, so I was when I said, wear whatever you want. I don't know, like, I'm not saying your significant other tells you what to do, but wouldn't you want to do something that they like? Like, if your significant other, uh, utter, utter, <laughs> that's my, utter my brain is fried, bro. <laughs> but if your significant utter uh, wanted you, didn't want, like, let's say you want to cut your hair super short, like, like, full hawk, and your significant utter, utter my, my significant other didn't. They thought they would uh, say, well, Blade. He would call me Butch. Like, it's like Birkenstocks hair. and that hair? <laughs> what, are you driving a Subaru? <laughs> oh, man, I almost got a Subaru. Oh, shit. That would have been cool. <laughs> but, like, um, what were we talking about? My brain just fried. The bonnet? Oh, and, no, and no. The hair and the women. Oh, all but so he, nice he would be all like, I don't, I don't. It's not about he's telling you don't cut your hair. It's. I don't, I don't like it when women have super short hair. Like, yeah. what if you're not attracted to that? He could have said that, but he would just say, you're, you're butch now. He would even tell his mom that. Ah, damn. Okay, well, that's too much. But if he just told you, I'm not really, like, into short hair, you still go cut it? But mine... We have a friend. <laughs> has really short hair. Yes. So, she's not gay. Hmm. I'm not saying for you to cut it. I'm saying there's well, women I out there with that. I cut it that short. I've always had, like, like, hair or whatever. I'm attracted to long hair. I don't know if, it was, if I was a breeder. I would be as... <laughs> I don't know if I was straight. You the breeder. I would. It's a joke, you guys. It's fucking Pride Month. Like, put your fucking rainbow in a toothpaste and shut the fuck up. Rainbow with a toothpaste? <laughs> You know, in June, everybody and their mother has something that's rainbow, and they're selling it. Like, companies, they don't give a shit, but they're like, put a rainbow, it's June, it'll sell. And because we're stupid, we're like, oh, that's a rainbow. <laughs> we buy it. I actually have a tie-dye kit that I got from my sister-in-law. I want to tie-dye something. That's different, shirt. tie-dye, sh like, I'm not saying rainbow's not cool, rainbow's cool, obviously, but nah, tie-dye is a shit. But I love maybe tie -dye. I can do a rainbow tie-dye. Ah, I fucking love tie-dye, bro, that's cool. What is rainbow? What it, is rainbow? But, uh, what? what is best of bears? <laughs> oh, it's Roy G. Biv, red, orange, Well, yellow, purp I know it green. as purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, but it red. it red, orange, yellow, green. Blue, G. purple. Ro Roy, Roy, G. G. Blue. Or it's supposed to be violet. Red, Red orange. orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. That's how it's supposed to be. I don't know that bullshit you just said. <laughs> Orangey, what'd you just say? God fucking damn it. <laughs> Roy G. Biv. Roy G. Biv. Sounds like an Red, activist orange, back in the 80s. Yellow. Roji Biv Green. did a lot of stuff for us, you guys. Indigo oh. and Violet. That's bullshit. Indigo and Violet, get out of here. <laughs> indigo is... Most of the time, the actual color indigo is not the one they use. They use that, like, royal blue. <laughs> I oh. wish I could zoom in. <laughs> um, oh, gosh. I just saw the camera. Um, Body positive! Be body positive. What do you think of speaking about like 
mental wealth and positivity and all that shit. Did you see the Naomi Osaka thing? Yeah. Well, I saw just the blip, but I didn't actually watch it. But but if she steps down, well, didn't they talk the about deal? about the two tennis top like top women? What is her name? Now? The the top that have the highest scores and shit. Or yeah, I'm not really like don't too savvy on tennis, but I literally only watched it because of Serena and Venus. Yeah. I just used to watch, you know, sports, you know, on TV, and they would talk about, because they were, like, big, big into, like, women's rights and stuff. Mm. Nata, 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 Nata Tolova, I don't know their names. Maria Sharapova? No, that um, was one of them. But she's younger. That. These are like in like the eighties. They were big. Oh, remember? So now they're like old. Enrique Iglesias' girlfriend. What? Oh, I thought you saw I, something. No, I had a hair. Oh, because you like. Um, I just thought of um. I was thinking of something when you said something. I forgot. The Ricky P- Martin thing or no? Julio Iglesias. You liked him? <laughs> no, oh, I, I just, was like, damn. I just like that name. Oh, Julio. Julio Iglesias. Iglesias. O oh, Enrique. Am I saying that right? In Iglesias. Igle- Do I sound like a white person? Say it. Julio Iglesias. Oh, no. I'm ah, sorry. now I'll make fun of her. Oh! What did you say? <laughs> say it again. Julio Iglesias. <laughs> Igle- 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 Just kidding. Iglesias. Igle- yeah, Iglesias. Iglesias. You know what that Igles- means? It's like, a liver- river? Liver, river. Iglesias is churches, like church, oh. a church, but multiple churches. Iglesias. Iglesias, yeah. Iglesias. Vamos a la iglesia el domingo, wey. Way. <laughs> <It's way. laughs> oh, bro. Yeah, I don't know about that shit. Oh, <laughs> I don't know about bro, that speaking shit. about the gay agenda, I told you, I, I was telling you the story earlier about the... The Kwame shit, how I posted that shit because he had, like, a stupid-ass Joe, Judge Joe Brown. And um, and those people replied, I'll put you on blast, motherfuckers. I don't want to give out, like, give them play. I shouldn't even talk about them, huh? Nah, fuck these people. I'm going to edit this shit. I'm ready to go. Fuck Do you me. have anything else? Um. No. That was easy. Oh, shit. Oh! the quiet place <laughs> i had to torture you bro oh shit so that's about it um don't hug me if you see me out there <laughs> i think it's changed like you know how people are just like huggy and some people don't like hugs especially like you know people on the spectrum oh what are you trying to say <laughs> Do you just you just want to shit on me today? I did not <laughs> imply that you were on the spectrum. And you know what's funny? I was just saying people. Some of the some of our favorite directly. podcasts have had that conversation because the main person of the podcast believes he is in the spectrum because he's so brilliant. I've seen two different. I'll just say it. Fuck it. Andrew Schultz and in Flagrant Two and Joe Budden. Uh, from the Joe Budden podcast, they both did that. They asked their friends in the pod, tell me the things, am I in the spectrum? And they're like, yeah. So I'm not that quite offended. <laughs> but we are dry. I didn't say Peaches is on the spectrum. <laughs> I was just saying some people don't like to be touched mm-hmm. or hugged. And hugged. You can always, I, I like the elbow thing, especially with kids. Yeah. I like the fist bump. You have to be careful. Because the elbow thing, someone told me, which is so true, when you sneeze, you sneeze to your elbow. Yeah. So when you elbow someone, usually you elbow like so. So you're touching sneeze with sneeze. 
What if you just do the tip? <laughs> I don't usually do A. That was last podcast. <laughs> oh, shit. God, that was loud, huh? Is it? No. Oh, so I, I just, didn't have this I just <laughs> earlier. <laughs> I just yeah. So I covered it. Oh, yeah. But anyway, we're ready to go. We have things to do. We're important people. <laughs> and uh, We've got people to do and places to go. Exactly. And drinks to drink. I want to do somebody. Oh. Not really. I wish. Oh, yeah. So, at the end of this podcast, Devin we will be... <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> You're shooting your shot, man. <laughs> Shoot your shot. <laughs> no, he'd be like, oh, lady. You got cobwebs up in that pussy. <laughs> Wouldn't that make it better? Yeah. <laughs> like, Does that I, le- I kept it nice and tight for ya. <laughs> no man has entered this in the year. <laughs> oh. Uh, Connor Langus hasn't traveled around this town for years. <laughs> What's that saying? God made guns to kill the homosexuals. <laughs> no, bro. And that's a perfect thing for it to end this podcast in June, Pride Month. And on the third day, God created the rifle so we can shoot all the homosexuals. Yeehaw! And that... Coo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so silly. <laughs> Sorry. The cuckoo's nest. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. <laughs> I think it might be on the Maybe what? I think it might be on the spectrum as well. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not making fun of people on the no. spectrum. No. Actually, oh, let's not get into it because people are going to say we're hating. We're totally not fucking hating, bro. No, no, no. I hate that we have to explain everything. It's like someone said, how are you going to go back on things i've said because you don't know if i've learned because maybe i watched the fucking show and then i learn that i said some idiot idiotic things and you learn so how dare you say hey i went back and back in episode six you said you were a whore and then i wasn't so what once upon a time long time ago i was a hoe and i'm admitting it i don't know the rest of the song (laughs) Shout I never, out to... I never was a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> I never was a hoe either. Well, nah, not really. Maybe. I don't think it counts. Yeah. And if Seriously. those feminists, and if oh you're still listening out there... I think I have gas. To Lorisi's gases. <laughs> uh, in my stomach and mine. Thank you for joining this Intestines. non-feminist... In- Intestines? Podcast. Intestines. Intestines? Intestines? I don't know. Intestines. You tell me. I don't want to say it wrong. <laughs> English is not my first language. <laughs> well, I said English is my second language, but it's correct what you said. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it was correct what you said. <laughs> See? I'm glad I'm catching this on camera. She does this all the time to me, but the moment I go in hard, I cry. she said. I cry. Breeders. <laughs> okay. <laughs>